Hey, what's up guys? Tech Steve with another video for you. So today I'm going to explain what 21 by 9 aspect ratio is. Now, aspect ratio is really the format the TV uh, comes in or your computer monitor. When it first started, we had these square looking TVs, which was four by three aspect ratio. So when you watch the movie, you really got this much of the screen that was recorded in widescreen. And then we went over to 1080p TVs, which are widescreen now, but still you get these black bars. Why are these black bars here? And the reason is when they record certain movies, they record it in anamorphic mode. So if you took your hands like this and looked in front of your TV, you'll notice some little space on the side. And that's actually going to take away from some of the pictures. So what I'm going to do today is I have this LG 29 UM68 ultra wide monitor, and I'm going to show you how to set it up real quick and then show you what the difference that you can get out of 21 by nine aspect ratio monitor. Now this monitor is not for most people or this format is not for most people, but if you do video editing or anything where you need a lot more real estate, then this can work for you. So sit back, relax, and let me tell you all about this monitor and 21 by nine aspect ratio. Let's take a closer look at this monitor. This monitor supports the AMD FreeSync, so it gives you the best experience when you're doing gaming. It also has gaming mode, stereo speakers, and also it supports the RGB overall 99%, so you're gonna get the best color and IPS design, so you're gonna get the best viewing angles on it. So let's go ahead and put it together. Take this bottom piece here, snap it in. And you have a thumb screw right there on the bottom. And there's two holes right here. Once you get it screwed in, you take this plate and snap it right over the screw. So now we have it all assembled. Let's take a look at the back and see what inputs are in it. So that's where you plug in your power cord. That's a headphone jack. You have two HDMI inputs and you have a DVI input for the max amount of picture quality. Now let's power it up and take a look at the menu system and then I can show you what the 21 by 9 aspect ratio is all about. Okay, first thing we do is look at the menu system. What they did is on the bottom here, there's a joystick like uh, menu control. So you can just go side to side, up and down. If you press it in, you're gonna get the, the menu options here. You have your menu, you have your gaming mode, input, and monitor off. Let's go over here to the menu. Now you got the menu over here. You can do quick settings. This shows you what input is connected. You can do all your picture settings there. You can do your sound settings, your general, which include like language, if you want the LED on the bottom to glow, automatic standby, and then you can reset all your settings. To get to the gaming mode, you press OK, and then you go up, and then over here, it lets you know all the different settings of the gaming mode. Input, this is where you can select your different inputs right here. Uh, again, display port is going to give you the Optimus input if your computer supports it. If you have a Mac, you can use uh, a couple of adapters to get that going. And that's about it for the menu system. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how much information you lose on a normal laptop or 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I have a MacBook Pro here. It's got badass resolution. As you can see, the pictures pop. It's very detailed. But let's see the difference in the 21 by 9. So this is natively a 20 by 9 wallpaper. So if you can see the San Francisco bridge there, it cuts off right here. But on this 21 by nine monitor, you have a whole cliff right there that's completely gone on the MacBook uh, Retina. On this side, you can see the mountains there and on, it stops about right there. So you can see you losing that side and this side of the picture. So here's another example. 
the retina display has the black bars on top and bottom just like you would if you're watching a movie and this 21 by 9 shows the full picture so first i showed you the 28 inch this is the 34 inch and as you can see it's a really big monitor it really takes up your desk space and I really like having the bigger monitor for uh, overall usage. If you have a Windows computer, you don't have to worry about any drivers. You just need to download uh, the desktop management software from LG or use the disk that came with it. So right now, this monitor is running at 2560 by 1080. So again, it's still the same aspect ratio as the 16 by nine, but much, much wider. To get this kind of resolution out of Mac, you can't do it from the native software that comes with it. There's a couple of tricks to it, and I will make another video for that later. But once you get it all set up, you have a, a software by LG that you can split the screen up into multiple pieces. I do two screens, so I have that right there. You just hit these according how you want your screen to be locked in. This is the video I'm filming right now. I'm going to add this clip to this. But if you can see over here, you have so much more real estate to put all your uh, different video footage. So I have my screen there, my angles here, all my clips here, the timeline. You can do your transits, pretty much everything all in one easy screen instead of having multiple monitors. So there's my video on the 21 by 9 aspect ratios. I hope you find that if you're looking to do a lot more with your monitor, it is worth buying a 21 by 9. The ones I like is LG, but Dell makes them and a lot of other great companies out there makes these type of monitors. So like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.